channel, it's Lissy. If you guys are new here, welcome to the channel. And today, guys, I once again did a bad thing. I did a bad thing. If you guys didn't watch my previous videos, I'm into a lot of scary stuff. Obviously, if you haven't seen my channel, I don't know what you've been doing. But basically, I've bought a few haunted mystery boxes off of eBay. And you guys love those videos so much that you guys have been begging me forever to buy another haunted doll mystery box off eBay. And since my last video got to 10,000 likes, I did not fail to deliver to get yet again another haunted mystery box off of eBay. And this one is huge. Like, no joke, I've never bought a mystery box this big. I don't know what they put in this thing. But this entire box was $300 and it's filled with apparently some of the most haunted dolls in somebody's haunted doll collection. And today, I'm going to be unboxing it for you guys and seeing what's inside because it's Halloween time. I'm delivering the most spookiest videos of the entire season. I'm so excited and I hope you guys are loving it. If you guys are, be sure to smash like on today's video and if today's video gets 10,000 likes I will continue to buy more haunted mystery boxes for you guys. Like Christmas came early. I love haunted dolls. What's inside of this box? I already see a doll staring at first thing I see. What is this? Okay so this doll I don't know what it is. I immediately saw its eyes and the eyes like stared into my soul and I was like I'm gonna grab this one out of the box first. So I did get a big list of stuff from the person who sold me the box and it has a description of why all of these dolls are haunted. So this one right here I believe is a bartender doll. Okay this person who sold me the box wrote a whole thing about why he's haunted. I need to read this to you guys. Okay I want to know what you did to be so cursed sir. The bartender doll. This doll was kept on the counter by a tip jar at a tiny sports bar in Idaho. Many regular bar visitors claim that this doll was cursed. Okay. People claim to see the doll moving and operating with no batteries inside of it as it was battery operated. It looks like it is battery operated. There's a little thing in the bottom here where batteries go. I wonder if he still works. And others claim the bartender doll would break others glasses and clean plates and silverware off the tables when nobody was watching. Some even say they would feel pokes on their shoulders and tugs on their shoelaces. And when people left tips in the tip jar sometimes, the cash tips would fly out onto the floor, freaking out customers who never want to return to the bar. Rumor has it, you're lucky if this doll operates for you with no batteries inside, as he prefers to make his hauntings more unseen and random. I wonder if he's even really haunted. And he has the soul of a cranky old man apparently attached to him, who loves to pull pranks on people around him. How is this all possible? Okay, so this is apparently really haunted. I'm gonna show you guys close up what he looks like. Those eyes are so freaky. Look at his little muscles. Stash. When I move his eyes, it feels like he's like following, kind of like on a mansion headstone, like he follows when he moves, like he's always looking at you. And he's pouring this like drink. I think the weirdest part is like maybe, I don't know if this could have actual liquid in it. There is like a tube. I feel like he could have actually poured something into this glass. I don't know how he was supposed to operate or work. And then he has an on and off button on the back of him right here, but he's not working for me. He's not moving or turning on and off or doing anything by himself. He doesn't even feel cursed or scary. He's just kind of ugly. No, there is no batteries in there. I don't know if I have those batteries that he would need to work. Or He's creepy. I wonder what he would do if I got batteries. All right, on to the next item in the box. What is this? This is huge. Oh my gosh. Okay. Ooh, she's a lot to take in to look at. Okay, this might be the scariest doll I've ever seen in my entire life. Ever. Out of every doll I've ever gotten in a haunted mystery box, I think whatever this is might take the cake in a weird way. So let me show you guys this doll up close. I don't even know what her story is yet, but look at the detail on this doll. Like it's in a chair. It has a tag on it still. It's called Elegant Dolls. Um, there's earrings on her. She has a very big hat. This is like definitely some sort of collector's item. I don't know why it'd be haunted. It is a little weird and like unsettling to look at, but I want to know why this is so haunted. Elegant Doll named Miss Dolly. Okay, so somebody named her Mrs. Dolly, I guess. This doll was named Miss Dolly by the girl who owned her growing up. The little girl was at a swap meet when her parents decided to let her pick out any toy she wanted as a gift for her eighth birthday. Her parents then ended up buying the doll and claimed it was the most absurd doll that they have ever seen. The kid loved this doll and would have tea parties with it, talk to it, and bring it everywhere with her. She then apparently brought the doll to school with her and kids started to make fun of it and she began to get bullied so she stopped liking the doll. That's kind of sad. They would bully her for having an interest in a toy like any other kid. That's messed up. To prove she was cool, one day apparently the parents claimed she brought the doll to school and kicked it around and let people poke needles into it and make fun of it and mock the doll. The toy almost broke at school and a few repairs were made. Really? I don't know where they made repairs. Well, I do see some chips on the back here, so they probably did throw it around here. Let me see if I can show you guys. There's like some chips on the, the wood here that are out of it. That's 
it's messed up, it would throw around such a precious piece of art. Then she brought the toy back home later that day and told her parents she outgrew all of her toys and didn't like her doll anymore. Her parents ended up making a bin later that week to donate her toys, plushies, dolls, and other things she outgrew to a charity center. Later that night, when it was all planned, things went south. The parents claimed they heard singing coming from the hallway of their home and nothing and nobody was there. They also claimed the doors began opening on their own and giggles and laugh could be heard throughout their house. They began to think that their home was just haunted in general, not thinking of the attachment that anything could have to the toy doll. Until the doll flung out of the toy bin across the floor all by itself. Okay, um, that's creepy. They picked it up and looked into the doll's eyes and they claimed the doll gave them a nosebleed when they looked into its eyes. What? I don't want to get a nosebleed today, that's creepy. After they donated the doll, they never had these occurrences happen ever again. Okay, well that was a lot to process for just one haunted doll. That is quite the story about one little doll that caused all this mischief. She is quite beautiful to say the least, like her outfit. I don't feel like she's cursed or anything, like I don't feel a bad energy connected to this. Maybe like an upset energy if they were kicked around, maybe that's why they caused the things to happen in the house with the parents and kid, if that really did happen, if she's really haunted. Let me know what you guys think. Do you think she's a nice spirit or a mean spirit? Okay, what do we have next? What is this? What is this? Okay, this is weird. I've never seen anything like this. Okay, it's literally just a head. <laughs> Why is there a head in this box? Look, it's literally a doll head. It's called Doll Baby by Martha Nelson, the original doll baby. And it's literally just a head of a doll. Can you get even scarier than that? Okay, I need to know what's up with this because this is the weirdest thing I've ever seen in a haunted box. Okay, doll head. This doll head was never owned or sold to anyone, actually. It was donated. So then how is it haunted? It was on the shelf of a toy store and multiple guests claimed when they noticed it, they felt uneasy or sick just staring at it. I don't really feel uneasy or sick staring at this. I just feel like it's funny, but okay. Although it was sold with other multiple heads just like it, people felt drawn to this specific head. Some people claimed that they saw it blink, move inside the box on its own, or even fall off the shelf all by itself. People kept having to pick it up off the floor and place it back onto the shelf as it was always being flung off. One day, apparently, someone even saw the head fully twist around inside of the box, and the worker who saw this take place demanded they get rid of it since she felt so uneasy after staring at it. That is insane to me. I kind of want to see it move. Like, I would love to see something like that happen. Like, to have an actual haunted doll. I hope that these really are haunted because that'd be kind of cool, but I mean, it kind of did slide around in here. Like, it's kind of planted in here. I couldn't imagine it being able to spin on its own. I feel like it was facing more towards the camera, and now it's this way. The whole head is just, like, chilling on its own placement. I would love to see if it blinks or anything. Let me know if you guys see anything that I don't, um, because sometimes I miss things when I'm, you know, filming or editing. Thing, but it doesn't look like it's moving or doing anything and it doesn't look scary to look look at or into It doesn't make me feel uneasy, but that is crazy if that is a true story and it is a little bit weird All right, what do we got next? What is this? Yo, it's a sailor doll. This does make me feel uneasy looking at it I'm sorry, but this one out of all of them so far this one is the creepy like it makes me feel uneasy to look at Okay, look at him like what he's smoking a pipe and he has a beard. He has little feet. He's kind of Kinda, he's kind of scary. I don't know. All right. I need to know the story of this. This is I don't like it <laughs> That's how I feel holding it. It's like I don't want to be holding it, but here I am holding it. It's haunted sailor doll What is the story of this doll? This sailor doll was once owned by a boy whose dad was a sailor Well nice coincidence the dad was given it by his father who was also a sailor who passed on But he never noticed anything off about the doll eventually the son's dad passed away due to age And after that event took place things began to happen the son had kept the doll in a box locked away for good. Well, as he grew older, the doll never interested him, but it was given to him by his dad, so it kept importance in his heart until it started to cause chaos. He would hear tapping inside the box at night, in which he kept his doll, along with some jewelry and other important items. He said he then took the doll out of the box one night, trying to find where the sound was coming from, and he smelt a smoky smell out of the blue, as if someone was smoking a pipe. That's weird, because he has a pipe in his mouth. His father used to smoke a pipe, and the doll also had a pipe attached to it. He didn't think much of it, so he put the doll back in the box for the night, and then the next morning, he found the doll sitting in the bathroom seat. He lived alone, so he started to panic in disbelief as he did not believe in ghosts. He then thought he was losing his mind, so he put the doll back in the box, and the next night, while asleep, he felt dizzy as if he was on a sailboat, and he heard footsteps and looked up to see a shadow that looked just like his father, standing right beside his bed. After that, he decided to donate the doll because it scared him so much. That 
is so cursed. Out of all the stories, that story freaks me out the most easily. I feel like if there was one item in this box that I do not want in my room or in my house at night, it's this one. So this one's gonna be staying in the garage because I don't wanna get cursed. I don't know, let me know what you guys think about that. I definitely feel a little uneasy holding it. Not seeing anything weird, definitely a little uneasy. Okay, there is one more doll that I'm seeing in this box and it's this. What is this? This is the last, oh it blinked. It literally just blinked. I don't know if you guys saw that, but it's eyes like can blink. It's kind of creepy, okay. Maybe I'm losing my mind. Maybe it's not supposed to blink, I don't know. Okay, what is this doll? Baby Katrina, second edition. Let me show you guys it up close. So here's what she looks like. She's in her packaging. I don't really want to take her out. Maybe there's a reason why she's inside the packaging. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna just leave her inside. This doll was originally purchased by a doll collector. That's probably why it's in the packaging. Who absolutely loves dolls. She picked up this doll off Facebook Marketplace and set it with her others. And that same night she picked up the doll, she claims something put a curse onto her. Her cat started to hiss and growl unlike she's never seen. And her dog froze at the sight of this doll. She got very ill the next day and even got into a small car wreck where she injured her arm. In a week's time, she lost her job, her illness got worse, and her cat ran away. That's terrible. I don't want to get cursed. Without hesitation, she blamed the doll. She said one morning she looked over and swore the doll's face slightly changed from night to day. Ain't no way this is staying in my room either because I'm not trying to get cursed tonight, okay? I got things to do. I got places to be. I don't want to get in a car accident or break an arm, car wreck, or... I don't know, maybe I should do a giveaway. Who wants Katrina? Comment down below. If you want Katrina, I'll ship her to you. You can have her. Okay, guys. Well, that was um, me getting cursed for... 10 plus minutes opening an eBay haunted doll mystery box. Well, happy Halloween to me. I'm probably gonna have ghosts in my room lurking over me at night. How quirky. The things I do for you guys because I love you guys. Anyways, guys, that's gonna do it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed, be sure to smash a like and hit that subscribe button to join the family. It's been Lizzie. Be sure to check out my other socials. They're linked down below, guys. And comment down below what kind of mystery box should I buy next. And I will see all of you lovely people in the next video. Bye, guys. Bye.